Step 2. Drawing and carving the mesial surface. After obtaining this block, we draw a line on the mesial surface bisecting the block into two equal halves. The line here will penetrate the tip of the root and the incisal edge. The point or peak of curvature labially is 8 millimeters away from the incisal edge while the peak of curvature at the cingulum is 9 millimeters away from the incisal edge. The width of the crown at these points is 7 millimeters therefore it is 3.5 millimeters from the cingulum and 3.5 millimeters from the labial to the midline. The width of the root is 6 millimeters. The slope of the incisal edge ends about 1.5 millimeters lingually, while the end of the cingulum ends at 6.5 millimeters from the incisal edge and in between these two points a concavity is shown. Now after drawing the mesial surface on the block we bring the plaster knife and cut the excess as we done on the labial surface.
Step 3. Rounding the corners. Now this shape is almost a cube with very sharp corners. Therefore, we should round the corners, all four corners, from the cervical line down to the incisal edge. This is done by a wax knife. Gently rounding the corners. We should check it every now and then to see the progress of rounding the corners. We should always check it with the diagram that we have, so it will be exactly like it. As you could see that the labial surface is very rounded.